everyone, it's Lisa and today is Saturday and as I promised, I just did a quick, simple get ready with me with some new products that I just got from Walmart. And this video is sponsored by Walmart. Brooke and I shop there all the time. We are so lucky to have one like right up the road and it's like I know all the people there now. I love it. I tried some new things that I think you guys will like like the All Star Positions formula with the new matte bronzer and then I also it's in there but I also got the matte bronzers just in case they were different than that a new Milani highlighter a new mascara the sky high lash lifter or lash what is it there's so many I tried three different ones not in this video but recently this is the sky high lash sensational and this wet n wild palette so, if you like this look, stay tuned. Okay, so, go ahead and clip my hair back. And I hope this lighting is going to be good. I'm not using my ring light. I just put my blinds like all the way up. They look so terrible. But to let all the natural light in that I can. One thing I wanted to tell you about, I'm not going to use it today, but I bought this. Something I've been doing to kind of help my hair through living here with this hard water is Tammy gave me this tip to treat your hair like do all the ends with oil at least 15 minutes before you get in the shower I usually do it like before dinner or in the afternoon I soak it with oil and then on the ends kind of like the ponytail part and I might come up like in these places right here too and then I just put it up in a clip and then I take a shower as usual and that kind of protects your ends and gives them some extra nourishment. Well, I was just like going through all of my oils because it takes so much. So I decided to grab this, which is the Heritage Argan Oil and non-greasy oil that repairs, strengthens, and adds shine. And I've been loving it. It has a scent, but I like the scent, but that's something, it's kind of like a, kind of like a deeper perfume type smell. If you have tried the dry shampoo it's the same thing but I think that you know what I did not see the shake well before use but you can put it on damp hair dry hair it is organic argan oil and avocado oil rich in vitamin A D and E so this is something I think that you guys would like that I wanted to show you what we're going to do is start off with the matte and poreless normal to oily and this is number 220 natural beige this is very similar to the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which Walmart does sell, but I decided just to try something different. Okay, I'm going to have to pour this on my hand like I do the Double Wear. And I'm going to put the lid on so I don't have any little mishaps up here. So, no primer. I haven't been using primer lately. Get my hair out of the way. And I usually just try to dab it on first kind of place it and I always start where I need it the most which is like right there but you can see I hope how well it matches my skin and I go over my eyelids under because I am going to use this as my concealer too okay then I start with what's left Kind of going down my neck. I never go like past right here on my chest or anything. And then I start really, I don't do like this because it irritates my skin for one thing. And if you have any like little flakies or something, it'll kind of make it look bad. I prefer just to kind of dab it and stamp it. And especially like right here in your nose, I have to take a little bit that's left. And get right in there and get the nose real good. Okay, so the foundation's on. I'm going to wipe it off of my hand here. This is something that I was very excited for. Started out with these. The new Butter Bronzers in Matte. It's the um, Matte Bronzer and then the Matte Sunkissed Bronzer. And to be honest with you, I wish they were darker. But you can definitely tell that the... Sunkissed is more of like a peachy bronzer, whereas the regular matte one is a little bit dark it, darker. Water resistant matte 
Minoy Butter Bronzer. I also got this, which is the Physician's Formula All-Star Face Palette. And it has the matte bronzer there. It has the regular butter bronzer, um, mineral glow pearls, all day petal glow, one of these happy booster blushes. I love these. This is one of uh, Brooke's favorites. And then this is a powder palette, multicolored pressed powder. So I'm going to use my usual Laura Mercier under my eyes because there is no replacing that. I have heard that the Maybelline Fit Me powder is a good one to do this with too, but I wish I would have taken this with me because I could not decide on which shade. Make sure that the creases are out and like that. Gosh, it's so windy. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind against the windows. Okay, so I'm setting that T-zone and under my eyes like that. Hey, you know how we always wonder why, what makes like high-end makeup as much as it is? What's the big difference? I was looking in all of this stuff for a mirror to use today because sometimes I feel like you guys can see better if I'm not looking in this mirror, if I'm looking in another one, and nothing, nothing has a mirror. So that's probably one of the ways that they cut down. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use this right here. So, and this is exactly what I did yesterday. Like that. Then I'm going to use the... I think I'm going to use this powder mineral glow pearls on the but see I also bought this Milani baked highlighter in Dolce Perla so let's use this and just see yep that's very similar to the Laura Mercier that's what I was hoping see how it gives you like that highlighted the top, whole top of your cheek I like that a lot. Okay, I'm not going to go overboard with that. Then I'm going to go into the matte bronzer, and it is soft. So, it is very pretty, and it smells so good. And it's like summertime. Okay, you're all, we're going to put our bronzer on different places. My face is long, my Forehead is big, so that's why I concentrate up here. But if you have a short forehead or bangs, you won't need to do that. And then you have to do the jawline to tighten up your jaw some. And see how I'm going a little bit under and a little bit above right there. And then I go down with the rest of it just to kind of make it all look pretty. Is that enough? I think it is. Okay, I can't decide if I want to use this, but this is a blush I have been using. I bought this at Walmart probably two weeks ago, and I've been loving it. It's a Physician's Formula Butter Blush, and it's Saucy Mauve, and it's so pretty. So I'm going to use the same brush. Look how pretty it is. I hope that you can see that low and I kind of mix it on the top of my cheekbone down into the bronzer like that this is so pretty this is right up there okay I can't say it's right up there with Milani Luminoso because I think that's my all-time favorite but it's it's up there, right on the same list. Okay, and this is my typical butter bronzer that I use all the time. And it's one of the darkest ones. It's called Deep Bronzer. This is one of my favorites. Use it all the time. And then, okay, let's go into eyebrows. 
I'm going to use the, this clear brow set. Just grab any. You can even grab a clear mascara. But I'm just going to not put any color or anything, but just kind of lay them back like that. And I did just give myself a little bit, a little mist of setting spray. So now let's put on, put on the eyelid primer of your choice. I know there are so many out there and so many paint pot things. This is my favorite. that. And I just picked this up on a whim. They, the Wet n Wild Color Icon palette in, please tell me the name is on here. The only disappointment is I was hoping it was going to be a little warmer. It's really pretty and it's, I, I would say it's very neutral and then these tones are a little bit more burgundy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my Butter Bronzer in the crease because I wanted a little bit warmer than it was yesterday. And when I build on that, that will help. Okay, so yesterday the first color that I used, actually, let me wipe this off, is this cream color right here at the end. I went ahead and did up here. I was kind of testing out the pigment and then I went into this color and did my crease. Wet n Wild has always had good eyeshadows. Okay, so once you get that, your crease color, your pretty much set, but I did go into this one right down here at the bottom right. I was trying to get it a little bit warmer, I remember. I'm going to see what other ones they have available. I know there were several. Okay, and then for my lid, I think I did, I think I did this one across my lid right here. I never really set out with a plan. I just kind of go with it. Okay, and then I grabbed a smaller brush and I did this sparkly cream color. And I will need to pick up my... And I did right in here. Right in here. Like that. Okay, now, something I used yesterday, Brooke just got it. I swear, I think she goes to Walmart about every other night. And she, a couple of nights ago, picked up the e.l.f. Espresso Gel Liner. That is what I used yesterday. To me, it was not dark enough. I much prefer the L'Oreal Gel Liner. So that's what I'm going to use today. I like to get my brush all in it. And then as you can see from the lid, I kind of work it in the brush so there's no big globs. And then I'm going to start just doing the eyelid first and then concentrating on getting it down into my lashes, which I have a hard time with sometimes. Sometimes I don't even see it until I watch my video back. Okay, and then for this, I'm going to have to, I kind of imagine that line going up. Like that. And then I can kind of, sometimes it's better if you take it and flick out. You'll get a prettier little flick. Like that. I definitely think that the drugstore inexpensive gel liners are just as good as the rest of them. Okay, so again, I'm just going to walk it across. Like that. 
that. Then okay, and again, make sure it's filled in. And then instead of coming from the outside in, go from the inside and flick it out to get a prettier wing like that. Okay, and I think those are pretty much even. Now we go back to the shadow. Let me wipe this brush. It's a habit to clean the brushes after I use them. Then go back to your palette and get a kind of a thin crease brush. And we're going to go into, let's see, what color did I do? I think I did this one yesterday. These shadows are soft. So work it in your brush so you don't get too much. And go right from the end of that wing across like that. The wing kind of gives you a guide. Like that. And then yesterday I took a smaller smudge brush and I went in this dark brown Work it in your brush, and then I kind of went over the liner a little bit. Right over the top to kind of soften it up like that. Then with what's left, a lot of times I'll just flick it from that end of the wing. Okay, and I'm going to take this and kind of soften out that edge like that I would say this is pretty good it's not the best palette I've ever used but it definitely you get good pigment and it blends well I wonder what it would look like if we put a little bit of this highlighter in the corner let's try that oh I like that yes before we go any further I'm going to have to cut a new pair of my Kiss Lashes, so I thought I would show you guys what I do. I'm going to cut off, there's a teeny tiny little plastic piece of the band that sticks out right there. I'm going to cut it off, okay, and then I'm going to cut off one, two, three big bunches from the ends, because I just know by now that's what I want. And I throw those away, and I'm left with this little piece. Before we go any further, let's do lips because I have a good lip combo. The other day, I will put a picture up here. I had used these. These are new Maybelline Ultimate Matte Lip Pencils in what colors? I'll put the colors down below. This one is More Blush and Nude Buff. Nude Buff was the main color but then I went over it a little bit with the blush. And I liked it, but it was very matte. Then I ordered these. I ordered this Milani color, and I was hoping it was, it's called lingerie. I was hoping it was gonna be lighter. I'll swatch it for you. Oh gosh, it's kind of uh, slicky. That's really pretty. Yesterday, I won't use the same one. I used this Color Stay Satin Ink in uh, Partner in Crime. And it is so pretty. It is the prettiest, like, mauve color. And it does dry down. And what I did is I put one of my favorite glosses over it, one of those Maybelline glosses. So we're gonna do that right now. And I used a new lip liner. It's the same as the Mastermind. One of my subscribers, Melissa, sent me a video of mine from a long time ago. And she said, I still love watching this tutorial. And in that tutorial, I was using this. And I was like, oh, I need to get that again. And it is the Matt's It. So I am going to, I should sharpen this. Let me go sharpen it real quick. So here we go. It 
it's so soft you have to barely touch it and this sucker will last all day all day And I always like put my lips together and kind of just get the liner worked in first before I put anything else on. It's kind of one of those thinner formulas. I'm just making sure I get it in all of those. You know, when I do like that, I can get all in those lines. Okay, and yesterday I let this sit just for a minute and dry before I put any gloss on top of it. But isn't it pretty? Okay, so now I bought, oh my gosh, you guys, I have bought three different mascaras to try in the last month or so. And Brooke said that this is like all the hype, this sky high. And so I'm going to use this. But I did get the Air Mega Mascara. I actually think this is what I used yesterday before I put my lashes on. And then I got the Falsies Lash Lift, which has like, if you like one of those ones that's kind of, um, you know, goes in in the middle, but this one is good. So we will first put the glue, the Duo Dark, on my lashes. Don't curl my lashes because it makes it harder to put the lashes false lashes on so we're going to just go straight into the lashes like that but you have to i learned i have to be careful because i can easily get mine clumped up because i go overboard there we go. So this is really good mascara. Okay, I want to put a little bit of any little brown liner. I just think that makes such a difference. Like that. And when I just looked at myself in the mirror I felt like I needed some more color so I'm gonna go in with this darker bronzer my sun just went down <sighs> it's dark now Okay, here it comes back. What a difference. Okay, now we're going to put my lashes on. And the first time I wear them, I do have to kind of do like this to get them broken in. I'll take my tweezers. And because I'm using brown liner, I may have to go back over. We'll just see. sure that whole thing is sticking because they've been sitting there while I do my mascara and everything they're pretty sticky okay you guys now what I did yesterday is I wanted a little bit more of a glossy look on my lips, so I just barely did like that, got a little bit off, and then I took this one, which is the Lifter Maybelline Gloss in Pearl. Got a little bit on the back of my hand like that, because I don't want to turn this a different color. And this is the best gloss at the drugstore. I did like that and that just gives it a little bit you can see it instantly 
makes your lips look a little bit more full. So this is the look. And I think it came out nice. What do you think? What's your favorite product? I hope that the lighting is good and I hope that you can see all the colors because I really think that palette is so pretty. There's something about that dark brown. There's some, that brown is really good. It's really a good palette and I have not even used that darkest one or that burgundy one, but it's really a good palette. The only thing I would do is I wish like this color was a little warmer. So just start off with your bronzer. A lot of people do that anyway. They will just always use the same color or the same bronzer in their crease and then they go from there. So that's a helpful hint too, but I think that you would love this little palette. I think it's got some good ones in it. I think that this is a winner. These, I liked them, but they were a little too matte for me, but I did like this. And when I chose this, I remember there was like three or four to choose from that I liked. So you should be able to find a good color. You need to get this lip liner. And of course, I'm sure you already have the butter bronzer. I wish it came in a little bit of a darker color in the matte, but that palette is still worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you to Walmart for asking me, and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.